So good to know that Taylor Armstrong is still unhinged. This is a Patreon request. Good morning, you guys. I woke up to all these text messages from some of you about Taylor Armstrong being caught out in OC, completely hammered with her husband on her arm, touting that, I don't know, uh, she's bisexual and <laughs> acting like a hot mess. Anyway, I'm gonna get into it now. All right, so there's only one place to start this video and that's with Taylor Armstrong. You better stay tuned My wife because their My reunion wife. is about to happen and I'm not sure you understand what's is about to be, go down. Is it gonna down. be crazy? This reunion is be the dirtiest reunion you've ever seen. Are you kidding? I don't know. You just asked me for smile. No. no. I know we know Kyle. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know Kyle. Well, uh -huh. You're not going to tell me you're, you're being so mean to me no, now. No, you know what? If you don't know like my name, then guess what? I feel you know, like. Hey, Taylor. How are you? Uh -huh. There <laughs> we go. Only on the nose. Oh, <laughs> Someone needs a drink of water. That's right. You better stay tuned to the reunion of the Real Housewives of Orange County because this shit is about to get real. Whoa. How crazy is it? How crazy? How crazy? Are you going to fight no, somebody? No, some you're, you are extra. Am I done? I know. You're done. I there just finished go. entertainment tonight in Access Hollywood, baby. Maybe okay. you should pay more fucking attention I, to the I news. Sh I should. Maybe I'm behind. <laughs> yeah, you tell him, Taylor. You tell him how famous you are. Shame on that paparazzi for not knowing your name. <laughs> What a lunatic. Got it now. You know all these influencers now. I got to like watch uh -huh. the YouTubers now. I know. You guys got uh, it. Yeah. She's one of my best friends on the planet. If Kyle's happy, I'm happy. Yes. And you know what? I love Marie's go too. There's room for all the love on the planet. You know I am bisexual. So You're bisexual? Bring it. I'm oh, not maybe you ought to. Do you guys remember Adrian Maloof and the godmother thing? in Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, I kind of feel like that's happening with Kyle and Mauricio right now. Maybe someone should call her in Italy and let her know that Taylor's her best friend. Faye, did you know Taylor was Kyle's best friend? Here's my old school crew. So you better know when I say it's gonna go down in the OC, yeah, that's I'm dressed right. in orange for a reason, baby. I it's that about to down. get hot. Bitter. So there was some rumors going around that Taylor Armstrong was drinking a lot in the OC. These came from people in the OC that were worried, I guess, sort of about her and reached out to me because we used to be friends a long time ago. Back in 20, I'd say like 9, 10, 11, 12, yeah. And then I heard nothing from her because she didn't need me anymore. She is a... Uh, fame-loving person, which you can really gather from this video. That's what I really appreciated the most about the paparazzi's capturing this, is that it really demonstrates her MO. I was surprised to see her with her husband because I truly believed that she was maybe using the show as a leap board to jump ship. So I guess they're not breaking up, but I don't know if they're together that much. Rumor was that things weren't great there, but who knows, it's just a rumor. This might remind you guys, is Taylor Armstrong a fraudster plus Adrian denies being godmother to her kid? This, by the way, was from a blog site, Reality T. Always want to promote the people doing the work. Taylor, did you change your name from Shana to Taylor? Shana. Shana. Yeah, Shana. Shana. Taylor was my last name. And um, that's what I went by with all my friends. Adrian is a godmother of my daughter, Kennedy. Well, Adrian and I have known each other a long time. She's my daughter's godmother. So um, I have, obviously, I would trust her with the life of my child. Adrian, you are Kennedy's godmother. Well, she's asked me to be the godmother. But we haven't really gone through. I think that's something that... Um, and usually, that's usually for somebody that is a relative or somebody very close. And even though I love Kennedy, I, I, you know, it's a big responsibility. Adrian and I have known each other a long time. I've known Taylor for three years. Our children go to school together, and that's how I originally met her. Adrian is a godmother of my daughter, Kennedy. 
I would love to tout where that video originated that I just showed you, but I don't know who did it. So anyway, it was really good. Now you can't believe anything that Taylor Armstrong says. I'm not sure I even ever really knew who she was. She was very, very fun and nice and you she really knows how to get people to care about her and do things for her but in deep inside you know unfortunately i'm not sure what's in there and who she really is honestly to this day she's very smart and strategic and she uses people she's used lisa vanderpump she used adrian maloof she always tries to connect herself with people she can gain clout from Hmm. At one time, I was able to be that person. I wonder if her secret brother will be on next season with her. And where does this all uh, stem from? I mean, not all of it, but some of it, it came from the fact that uh, Taylor Armstrong back in the day, I guess, used to pretend that she was Taylor Ford and from the Ford family so that she would seem like she was some sort of rich person you know, from a blue blood family. And so that was uh, going around. I did a whole story about it in here. I actually met some people who sent me a whole story about how they had run into Russell and Taylor. And they uh, were saying that they were, uh, you know, that she was from the Ford family and all this stuff. And she, they just thought that the whole thing was very sketchy. I think they ended up buying her and Russell dinner at an expensive restaurant or something. Uh, it's all in the Patreon, but that that's the story. So that's another sketchy thing surrounding it. But like this kind of behavior is, this has been going on for years. Ask anyone who knows Taylor, the minute that she gets drunk, she becomes like a, a crazy lady like you just saw. She also gets uh, bisexual, which she never uh, is normally when she's sober. So the only time I've ever seen her bisexual acting is when she's been drunk, just saying. Oh my God! Are you kidding? Six right, strong women. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Look at the butt. That's sexy. Look at the shot. Oh. Oh. So what kind of antics can't help you help cause on the Beverly Hills Housewives? Uh, <laughs> 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 Who do you think is going to be the biggest? Don't knock me over. Queen. Both of you guys together. The drama queen. Okay, so one more quick story. I invited Taylor Armstrong to accompany me to this tennis tournament that was at La Quinta in Palm Springs. They comped everything. We got treated like VIPs. We got awesome rooms and we ended up getting invited to all these parties and we got gifted stuff, if I recall correctly. I had my whole makeup team come and hair and, you know, they did Taylor and I and it was a great time. But then at night they had a huge reception for the tennis tournament and Taylor and I went and she got so out of control that they asked me to remove her from the party. So we had to leave the reception early and I had to bring her back to her room and settle her down because they didn't want her in the party anymore. So it's like a real problem. Like I'm not trying to make too much light of this, but I mean, someone needs to get her some help re regarding her drinking. All kidding aside, it's easy for me to drag her because I'm pissed at her. But, you know, seriously, this is just going to end up exploding again on OC and maybe, you know, and more memes coming out of it. The whole cat meme, by the way, came from her being unhinged totally and having one of these episodes when she's drunk. Um, so I'm sure Taylor now is trying to get attention. And so she's tapping, you know, her drinking to do it. If you like this video, you should watch this YouTube. I'll put it in the description of this video. This talks a little bit more about Taylor Armstrong. If you're interested, also in the Patreon, all my stuff is in my bonus audios for Diamond members. If you guys happen to be a Patreon and you wanna check that out, just search Armstrong or email me in the Patreon and I'll send it to you. But suffice it to say that Taylor Armstrong does her best to rewrite history in a way that works for her. She even did it with The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. The truth is that at least when I was around, the cast members all, you know, thought she was nice but kept her at a distance because there's been lots of rumors about her. So honestly, 
This is Taylor feeling very insecure that she didn't get to be a housewife on The Real Housewives of Orange County. You know, secretly it devastated her for some reason. I I swear she'd give up her whole life to do it. It's unfortunate, you know, that she feels the need to sell her soul, but some people do. All right. Well, on that note, I got to go. I, I, I'm supposed to be doing uh, something in Miami and I'm late. All right, you guys, we'll talk soon.